Hello friends, a very good morning to all of you. Ricky Chadda from Ask to Healer channel. Sunday, so it's a video that I am uploading on spirituality. And today's topic is, I think, the most crucial one that has changed my life. But I would request you the previous exercise that I gave you about crying, which you can see the link above. Keep on practicing, uh, practicing it for a full uh, moon cycle. So if you begin on the Purnima, make sure that next Purnima or if you start on Amavasya or note down the date for one month, you need to practice this. Now, after you have invoked your guides or your spirits, this what I am going to discuss today is the next step. But the most crucial that what I call as co-creation or going further for a handshake with the universe. Now in this there are four steps. I want you to understand the four steps. All the steps I have given it in the description box as well. See, in the co-creation, <clears throat> you are in a very synchronized uh, way along with your spirits or spirit guides. You are going along on this path. Now, this is purely from the book Crayon. <clears throat> and I only follow him. I only follow his instructions because I am a person who follows one path. I don't look here and there and then you get confused and mixed up. I don't even say that there are, there are no other uh, way, of, way of meditation or invoking your guides. Yes, there must be many. But this is what I have followed and this is what, I have, what has uh, given me good results. So let us start, uh, start with the four steps. Note down understand what I am going to speak now. The first step is called the intent. Also understand what is the difference in a desire and what is the difference in an intent. Desires may or may not manifest but a very strong intent I have made a video on this also. When you give an intent to the universe, universe will now conspire, will make things available for you to fulfill or manifest that intent. Now what is this intent? This is very important <clears throat> and this is a very critical step. And once the intent has been given, it is transmitted, you have to give it verbally and please understand whenever you are into a communication with your guides and spirit, whatever you verbalize, you have to verbalize thrice, three times. So in this first step, which I would again say it's a very crucial step. Once the intent has been given verbally through your guides and acknowledged by the universe, it is received by the universe. Now you don't have to wait. You just don't have to wait. It will start working immediately. When you give an intent, make sure that you are into a very quiet space. <clears throat> It's a very quiet time that you can talk to your spirits. It's a very sacred time of your choice. It could be morning, it could be afternoon, it could be evening, it could be night. There are no restrictions and no rules whatsoever. Now when you give an intent, you speak to your guides, spirit, verbalize it thrice. You say, 
आई विश टू टेक माई पावर एंड को क्रिएट आई एम रिपीटिंग इट वंस अगेन आई विश टू टेक माई पावर एंड को क्रिएट माई इंटेंट इज दैट आई मूव इन टू बिकमिंग अ लाइट बींग और अ लाइट वर्कर माई इंटेंट इज टू यूज द गिफ्ट of the new energy as appropriate i am repeating the statement once again i don't mind the video being the video being a little too uh, a little long you will verbalize thrice this is the first step this step is called giving an intent to the universe you say to your spirit i wish to take my power and co-create my intent is to move into becoming a light worker or a light being my intent is to use this gift of the new energy as appropriate so now we have come to the first step now we are the following step <clears throat> step 2 is called reality see this is the second step and this is the hardest one now when i say hardest why you must have full faith that this is real and it will support you throughout your life <clears throat> that faith that trust has to be created it has to come from within for example <clears throat> and this is from the book i am quoting when you sit on a chair do you doubt the chair that it will take your weight or do you ask the chair will you support me no you just pull a chair and you sit on it you have that faith you have that trust that yes this is the chair the reality is that it will take me or it will support me <clears throat> you with the utmost faith you will sit on the chair similarly you need to have the faith in your guides and your communication too do not doubt at any given time do not doubt your spirits or your guides and they will work one of my videos the following videos i am going to talk about uh, talk about a parking spirit i'll give you an assignment work on that and see what i'm talking about the reality how it works <clears throat> the third step <clears throat> you have given the intent and the universe has received it this, this was the first step now you have full faith and believe that your guides are reality your spirits is a reality now you need to verbalize this to the universe through your guides so you have a mediator now you have yourself you have your spirit guides and you have the universe and why do i use the word verbalization or verbalize see as a human being you can hear your communication but if you say it in your heart it will not work as much as it will work when you verbalize it your words go out in the air the words return back to your ear and through your ear it is registered by your subconscious mind or your mind and this process you and your guides are all set for a handshake and now you have a contract like we sign a contract now when you verbalize it's a contract <clears throat> now coming to the fourth step which is the last step is self creation now when i say self creation according to the book of grand it says 
that always create for yourself and only for yourself do not involve any other human being in your creation so you cannot sit and say okay we like me and my wife me and my brother me and my sister me and my children no this is an individual contract so you you create only for yourself do not involve anyone else into it right these are the four steps that you will do after you have done the first exercise where i have told you that you will imagine yourself to be on the hill and in front of the hill you can see overlooking a lake or a sea and how you spread your hand and how you call for the darkness how you feel the tickling on your hand watch that uh, video i'm sure and after that exercise this is the second that you will do and this is the basics of getting into spirituality the way i have done it so i am not trying to say that the others the other other ways of doing it is wrong but this is what i have followed and you have to do the same if you wish no compulsions at all thank you for watching this video wait for my next video on sunday on spiritualism where i shall be talking about something very important how to ask for your desire there are three steps in that and it is really really very interesting and how it works it is very it's like a miracle thank you so much take care